everyone. I have so many pins spread about me right now. I am really excited to tell you guys about a couple of pen mods. And also I wanted to tell you about a couple new items we have that I'm particularly excited about lately. If this video gets way too long, I'm gonna split it into two because I know I have a tendency to go on and on and on when it comes to pins I'm excited about. I wanna start with the Dr. Grip Gel, which is an American market pin. One of our Facebook subscribers was asking me if you can use the juice refills inside of the Dr. Grip gel pen. And I thought you probably could because as a lot of you know, the Dr. Grip gel pen does take the G2 inserts and I always understood that the juice was kind of like the more Japanese market version of the G2. Now the G2 is originally a Japanese pen, but this weird thing happened where the G2 became super popular in the United States. I think partly because we didn't have as many options as they do in Japan. And so they rolled out all of these colors of the G2 in the US, but in the meantime, in Japan, only keeping like the basic blue, black, red of the G2 and then making this new pilot juice, which I think that they thought this pen body, which is really not that much different, would be more popular with the Japanese market, especially in terms of all the, the color options. I think it's possible that they were marketing it more toward women is, you know, it's just a speculation that I have. I went ahead and got, I, I couldn't find, I knew I had one somewhere, a Dr. Grip gel pen from the American market. I couldn't find one in my collection, so I went ahead and ordered one. And what I think is really fun about this is because it uses the Pilot Juice, you actually have quite a few more color options than you do with the G2. I just wanted to show you that it fits perfectly, is the exact same size as the G2. You know, looks very, very similar. The thing that I think is, is really fun is not only is the juice have like all of these different colors, but even like they have multiple shades of brown. This more coffee brown is super popular with with people who like the juice. I think it's just cool that you get something beyond the regular brown. I think that the G2 market calls this regular brown caramel when you can find it in the American market. But then this is the, I'm gonna show you the difference here. This is coffee brown. And I'm writing in 0.38, of course, because you know me. <laughs> and let me compare it to the... See, I didn't even mean to be doing swatches in this video, but I get so excited about this stuff that I just kind of go on and on. So you can see how you get, like, t with the Pilot Juice, like, s even, like, very different shades of brown to choose from. So, I mean, that's why I like it so much. I think that if you are a fan of the G2, you definitely should try a color of juice that that you can't find in the G2. The juice does come in 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0.7, and 1.0. So those of you who like fatter tips would like it also. But if you have this Pilot Dr. Grip gel and you wanted to mod it out with something like the Coffee Brown, I think that it would be a fun time. And did I really just say fun time about pens? Yes, I did because I clearly have <laughs> a strange hobby, but probably most of you who watch me I have the same strange hobby, so I'm thinking it's okay. All right, so that was the first mod. And a shout out to Deborah in case she watches my YouTube videos, which I don't think she does. Anyway, she's the one who asked me about that, which made me discover that it is in fact compatible. Okay, so the next mod I want to talk to you about is not exactly like I don't know it's it's a mod but in a way it's not a mod because the pen's meant to do this but people don't realize it I wanted to talk about it because this product can be confusing to people okay so this is the very awesome Sarasa 4 plus 1 
some of you might already be familiar with the Sarasa 3 and the Sarasa 4, which looks like this. And the Sarasa 4 plus 1 is not a brand new pin to our store. It's been on our store for at least six months, I would say. But, but the fun thing about this pen <laughs> is that instead of taking the regular Sarasa multi-refills, it actually takes the refills for the, the pre-fill, which you guys know how obsessed I am with that if you've watched some of my other videos. <laughs> so you can end up, for this Sarasa 4 Plus 1, you can end up choosing from, um, you know, Sarasa inks in various sizes, Sudati inks in various sizes, forgetting something. Yeah, the Gemnock inks. If you buy the Sarasa 4 Plus 1, you're getting it pre-filled with the traditional colors of black, red, green, and blue, plus, you know, a pencil unit. Oops, sorry, I'm like totally off the camera. That's like really helpful, okay. So it looks like that. All right. And you can pick from it being already pre-filled with 0.4 or 0.5. The pencil lead in both of them is 0.5 though, so just, just I just want to be clear about that. So what you can do is you can get the Sarasa 4 plus 1, but then you're totally not limited to the colors that it comes pre-filled with, and you're even not limited to the ink type. So a lot of people don't understand that this can act is actually more closely like related, I, I would say, to the pre-fill custom multi than it is the Sarasa 3 and Sarasa 4. One thing also I wanted to point out is in the pre-fill barrels, there is no eraser here, but in the Sarasa 4 plus 1 multi, there is an eraser. So that also sort of makes it a little more convenient but in any case I just wanted to call that out I realize it's not a mod per se because the pen is designed to work that way but people don't realize that and so they think of it very like much like this where you're kind of limited to those colors that the the multi refills come in and instead you can like you know get really creative with this pen okay so this is a good segue into Another thing I wanted to show you and talk about, just because I am a pen nerd, I did get some of these Zebra Sarasa Multi 4 Plus 1s. Peanut sometimes licenses goods with Zebra in Japan, and so I always think their stuff is really cute. Because I'm nearing a thousand subscribers, I am going to give away one of each of these pens, and you can see that they actually come pre-filled with the more unique pre-fill colors here, like blue, black, I think that one's magenta, I'm pretty sure it is. This one's lime green and then orange, I believe. Light green and orange and magenta and blue, black, yeah. So light green, not lime green. And then this one comes pre-filled with light green, light blue, light pink, and black. So these are going to be included in an upcoming giveaway for my first 1,000 subscribers. And then I'm also going to include a set of Snoopy Sarasa clips. I'll have a whole separate video about that giveaway because there's going to be a lot of other stuff in it. But I just wanted to tell you about this while I was talking about the Sarasa 4 Plus one. You see how I can just end up like segueing into like way too much stuff with these videos? But let me just show you. I have one that I've opened, it's my own set, because of course I have to have it. But one thing I really like about these pens is the barrels kind of, not only does it have Snoopy and I think her name's Belle, but they're sparkly, which is really cute. I'm not, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but they're sparkly. They're just really cute, they're multicolored. So that's going to be included in an upcoming giveaway, so just stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions for what I should include in the giveaway, 
please comment and let me know. I'll definitely consider your suggestions. I, you guys always have such awesome suggestions. I learned so much from you guys too. So um, yeah, this will be part of an upcoming giveaway. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about the Sarasa 4 Plus One or if I didn't explain it clearly. It is a product I get a lot of questions about because um, it must confuse people. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. Finally, I wanted to run through a few new products that we've recently put up in the store that I am particularly excited about just because they're unique. I get excited about things that I feel like aren't common. So. You guys probably have heard of the Vicuña. It's by Pentel. And the Vicuña is like, if you like the Zebra Surari, or if you like the Mitsubishi Jetstream, or what's Pilot's version, the Acrobol. So those are all like hybrid inks that are sort of somewhere in between a gel ink and an oil-based ink. So the writing is really smooth with these. So this is a multi-pen of the Vicuña. And it is coming in 0.5 and 0.7. And it's a 2 plus 1. So it includes a red ink, a black ink, and a pencil. So I'll show you that. Sorry, I keep going off the screen. It's great. Okay. So you can see that there. If you like the more, like, trans parent barrels, those are the 0.7. And if you like the more opaque barrels, those are the 0.5. Now, of course, people tend to be like very limited by this, but if if you say like really liked this opaque black barrel, but you prefer 0.7, then you just get 0.7 refills for it. It's not really limiting you that much. Okay, so at this point, you must be thinking, what are those do hickeys on top of the pens that you have? <laughs> That's what I would be thinking if I were watching this video. In Japan, <laughs> headphone jack accessories have become very popular. Now, I know that they're starting to kind of become more common here. What I mean by those is, let me see, I probably have some open around here. Oh yeah, here's a bag of them. So, as kind of a cool way, to express your style with your pen or just to kind of add something to the style of the pen you can buy these um, earphone jacks now these are actually originally for cell phones so you know the earphone jack of like your iphone it can get dust in it so the idea is that people can like keep these popped in there and then you're not going to get dust in your earphone jack <laughs> and you are adding decoration to your thing. These are just like one of many, many, many different types that you can get. But the thing about this pen is that it is having on it an earphone jack so that you can decorate this pen. And I mean, obviously you can just leave it like this. And then it's kind of like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> why does why is your pen blocky with a big hole now? <laughs> but the idea is that you have fun accessorizing this pen. I just have these in here to show you, like the type of thing you can do. Etsy is full of really fun earphone jacks. Amazon has some earphone jacks. I would love to know if any of you have found an earphone jack that is like a macaroon or even like a dangling one with macaroons because I think that would be really cute. So this pen is for someone who wants to have fun with that kind of thing. Now Pentel has done this one time before with the Pentel I Plus Multi Pen. I love this. I love the colors. It, com it comes in so many pretty colors. You should, I'll leave the link below and you should go look at it if you, like if you are really into like color, I think that you would think that these barrels were really cool. You can see these have the earphone jack on the top too. Okay, I'll just show you this kind of a, this earphone jack is kind of dark and weird, but um, that's what it looks like when I put my little gemstone earphone jack in it. I wish I had more earphone jacks to show you, but I'm still looking for the, perfect one. That's why I want a recommendation for you guys. 
or from you guys if you guys know where to get like super cute earphone jacks I want to know so yeah that might be something to google like an earphone jack accessory if you're into the idea of decorating these pens and so again you can find that feature in the Pentel I Plus Multi and the Pentel Vicuña Feel Multi, which is brand new. Just to point out, because this is another question I get asked, the Pentel I Plus, the three color barrel is definitely thinner than the five color barrel, which makes a lot of sense. And there they are side by side, so you can kind of see that the one is more the thickness of a regular pen, just a little bit thicker, whereas the five color barrel is, you know, quite a bit thicker than a regular thickness of pen. I do have some other new products I wanna show you. I think I'm gonna break it off into another video because this is going on like a long time already. <laughs> I really appreciate all of the questions you guys have for me. It helps me to discover things like new pen mods and also to just make the descriptions on my store better and to realize what kinds of videos you guys would like to see. So thank you so much for watching and for commenting and I will be back soon. Bye bye.